Hey guys and girls, Street Soccer Kid, and welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead. We ended up in some sort of store with other people, and the leader, supposedly, and her father were being assholes to us. Wanting to kill the little kid that was with us because they thought he ha he was bitten But he was only covering blood and now his dumbass got a heart attack And now we gotta help find um, What is it called? I don't know some medicine and we're gonna help his His ass not damaged Glad this place didn't get looted even though he was a dick to us and to Kenny? Was it Ken? Is that his name? What was that? The pills are in there. Get the energy bar, you're gonna need it. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. What the hell? Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. You bitch ass. I was yeah, just doing that's what I right. had to earlier. You need my help now. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What? What do you think about what's wrong with him? Uh, You're from here? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got to... What do you, what do you think, uh... What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... More of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why'd you Did do you that? Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were out. Uh... We were close. Oh, I'm sorry. Snap. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. They probably weren't, and now they are. That asshole. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty there regularly. There you go, nitroglycerin. Bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. I uh, should I? Uh, he does, but, uh, that's great. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you. Whoa. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that. Yeah. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. We all got issues. Where's her mom? That doesn't give you the right to act like an Savannah, asshole. I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. She a thug. I think the girl's she beast didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alive inside? What is what does that mean? Dude, why are you going inside? Clementine, what are you doing with me? Hold. I 
this door leads to the back alley. Dad's cane. Oh, never mind. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Oh, if, he does, if he's not using it, I mean, my dad oh, gave it to me. No. See, Dad's just smart like that. He's a zombie. He might have to kill. Oh, he might have to kill them. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Oh, no. Better get this door I hope huh? not. Can I help? Sure. You're so adorable. You're so cute all the time. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Huh? <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those Damn. Are good jobs. What's your job? They got I money. No wonder they got in that nice house. Like, that. like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. I'm a teacher. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? Damn. That was, that was straightforward. Uh I mean I don't know the I don't know his relationship with his family. But are they dead? Did he kill them? I mean, it's giving me that option. I'm just gonna be. I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. Love family no matter what. Family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Oh. I got a brother, but keep tapping. I'm not a bad guy. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Oh, oh, crap. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. The remote for that thing in here someplace. There's a band aid in there, I bet. Oh, good. Dad, get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? She's still a little kid. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? I 
that's his brother. Find anything? What the hell? I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence. Holy but I'm a reporter crap. for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. So you're just gonna say all of that? I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Uh, thanks. Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. The pants came in here hoping to survive. Damn it! Looks like one of the most I thought it was a remote. I don't know why, I just thought it would be in there. Or protector at least. Alright, Clementine. Sorry to keep you there's the remote. Ha. How did I know? It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Damn it! What the hell is the point of that then? You didn't pay the bill. Have you heard everyone seem okay to you? Everyone out there seem alright to you. Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. Of course, I got you. Good. I'm your hero, man. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. What? Okay. I have it. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. How do you clean that off? Your finger. It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Got you. Don't worry. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Is that it? Can so? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Oh. It's not there. First aid kit. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Where were the keys? Where would they be? Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. Here he comes. You're not bad, right? I knew it. I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, crap. Uh, it's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen. You do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Oh, no. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. 
<laughs> That's sweet, Lee. I got you. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Are you guys, right? Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Snow cones? 150 for a snow cone? Should I tell him the truth? Yeah. They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. Three dollars for a Sunday? That's pretty cheap. Yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. Aw, oh, man. It's okay. Panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. It happens. It happens. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. Yeah, that's rough. I killed that boy. We could have saved him together. You didn't have a choice. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Trying to let it go. Yo, me and Ken are tight now, man. up with her hey there uh, this is Glenn and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here uh, little girl if you're there can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever this is Lee what's up so I'm down at that motor in and well uh, I'm stuck stuck yeah I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Oh, she's ready. But I still gotta find this... This guy... What is this? Another energy bar? Uh, I gotta find the keys. Am I not supposed to find the keys? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Greedy bastards. Central High Tech. Not greedy, he's selfish. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What was that? What was that? The it IT guy. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> uh, not suicidal yeah. yet. No, <laughs> no, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. Huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Weren't they just out there like
What is the candy bar for? We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Should I talk to him? How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. <laughs> he hates him. Try to get some rest. Oh, huh? melted now. How can I with those things out there? I think the candy bars for her. Yeah. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. So there's no getting in there from out here. That great does its job. Oh, damn, you okay? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. How dumb is she? It's probably no batteries. Yeah, see. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You, you are. Know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find you some. Oh, too. Thanks. I wouldn't even no, really know what to look for. Have noticed. Here you go. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Well, it does only need two, so... It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. <sighs> Nothing. Don't tell me she put the batteries in the wrong way. This... How dumb can you freaking be? As the unknown pollution it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air now. Steve. God bless you all. Well, they're dead. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Hey, Carling. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. Oh, wow. I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Just like yeah. that girl's dad. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Chill, really? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. 